Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, good job, I did not wait forever to make a new one. Or <laughs> good job to myself. Anyways, as the title t lets you know, I will be doing, trying out a new face mask called Bubble and Chill from or by Pink, which is a Victoria's Secret brand. Um, so let's get into it. So this is what it looks like. It's a charcoal bubbling sheet mask is what it says. And here are the directions. Maybe you can see it. Um, prep first, wash and dry face completely. I've already washed my face and it's dry. Unfold the mask and position on face as shown. Uh, so the bubbles will foam up for up to 10 minutes. Okay. Do you know how hard it is to read this on this reflecting thing? Um, remove mask massaging product into skin. Wash to remove excess. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hopefully this, um, angle is decent. I'm not going to put my hair up just because I spent some time actually curling it today, but let's see. First, uh, it looks like it has this little tear part, if you can see it. But so I'm going to tear it, hopefully without ripping the mask. Um, yeah. Ooh, it's very wet. Take my glasses off. Ah, I cannot see. Um, or not very well. Let's see. Attempting to pull this apart. Very wet, thick. How are you supposed to tell how this goes? And it's like sticking to itself. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna look like I have a winter mask on, <laughs> or like a hockey mask, or like. I'm about to rob a place, but I'm not about to rob a place. I just put my hair back in a headband, so hopefully that's good enough. Oh, I cannot see. I'm like, not blind, but half blind without my glasses on. I hope that's um, sort of where my face goes inside this big old mask. Okay. It's very cold, by the way. So, <laughs> this is not easy at all. It's sticking to itself, and I can't see without my glasses. This is crazy. Okay, and now hair. Oh, that one. Yep, there's something right there. I don't know. <laughs> ah! Trying not to get into, into my mouth. Guys, this is not easy. And I look crazy. They need to make this for petite faces. Ah. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to use the big mirror. Well, it's definitely bubbling up, which is weird how it's doing it. It's on its own. And pretty sure I got some in my mouth. Crush. But I won't swallow it, so it'll be okay. Mmm. So I have to do this for like 10 minutes, so, yeah. Oh, my hands are so messy. I'll be back. <laughs> it's hard to talk without this stuff getting in <laughs> my mouth, but it's been about five minutes, 30 seconds, so I'm trying not to swallow the stuff I got in my mouth too. It's been about five minutes, 30 seconds, since I put this on, so it's about halfway through and it's sliding down. But yeah, it's really foamy, but so I'll check back in with you soon. <laughs> All right, it's been about 10 minutes now. As you can see, the foam is real. <laughs> okay, so I said take it off, rub it in. Then 
and wash it off. Okay, well, okay. Ooh. Well, my skin's definitely bubbly and uh, clean. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of hair in it. Okay, so rub it in. So, sorry. It's bad camera work. Just rubbing it in. That's what it says. Maybe this will clean out my pores good, I hope. Well, whatever. It, it does feel good. It's very, like, not just clean, but cold and refreshing. Once you get the mask off. <laughs> that wasn't very pleasant because it was, like, sliding down my face and getting stuff in my mouth. But other than that, yeah, <laughs> it was very heavy because it, it was very wet and uh, thick material. Said it was like bamboo fiber or something like that. Yeah. Okay. They should make, side note, they should make neck masks because, yeah, my neck is kind of rough. But sorry, getting off topic. Just rubbing it in. Feels good. Okay, I'll be right back so I can clean it off. Alright, so I just have this inexpensive face cleaner from Walmart, um, Equate brand, excuse me, there's hair on there, <laughs> real life, Equate Beauty Daily Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. Um, I would say I have normal to dry skin, but it works anyway. Okay, I'm just going to rub this into the rest of the whatever that stuff soap was maybe get some water I'll be right back okay so <coughs> cleanse my skin now i'm just going to pat it dry okay So this is what my skin looks like. Um, it does feel clean and refreshed. I have some acne going on and I'm in my 30s so some wrinkles but my skin does feel real tight so I might want to put like a moisturizer on after this like might be a little drying but it's definitely clean and refreshing. Let's see. Um, I think it cleaned out my pores were pretty good, not like magically, but it did do a good job cleaning, cleaning and refreshing my face. So would I try this again? Probably not, unless they make one that's a smaller size. I prefer like doing face masks that I can just rub on my face and let dry. Um, cause it fits my face, so I don't have to worry about a face mask that fits or doesn't fit my face so comment down below if you've tried this and you either liked it or not comment down below and let me know what kind of face mask you enjoy like this if you enjoyed this little face mask adventure um, share it with people and please subscribe because I have some amazing or I think interesting amazing videos coming up that you don't won't want to miss. All right. Thanks for watching guys. See you again soon. Hopefully. Bye.